Hi, this is Sonia Doucette, and I'm going to show you how to calculate Ka for a given acid if you know the solution concentration for that acid and the pH. So the problem we want to solve is to calculate the Ka for a 0.15 molar hydrocyanic acid solution with a pH of 5. So for this type of problem, you're going to want to use an ice table again. So recall that each letter in the word ice for ice table means something. I is referring to the initial concentration. C is referring to the change in concentration. So in this case, we'll be adding hydrocyanic acid to a solution, to water as the solvent to make a solution. And C is going to be the change in the hydrocyanic acid concentration that will have to occur in order for the solution to reach equal equilibrium once the hydrocyanic acid is added. So E is the equilibrium concentration. What the concentration of hydrocyanic acid and the other components involved in the acid-base chemistry is once the reaction has reached equilibrium. So as, as with all ice tables, the first thing you want to do is put your balanced equation describing the chemistry at the top of the ice table. So in this case, we have hydrocyanic acid being added to water. And because we're dealing with an acid, the acid is going to donate a proton to water. We'll be left with the hydronium ion plus the conjugate base of that acid, which is cyanide ion. So there's the top of our ice table. And then we're going to have three rows, one for the initial, one for the change, and one for the equilibrium. So we're given the initial concentration of HCN. So we're going to write that here. It's 0.15 molar. Water is not included here because we're going to be using the Ka expression or the equilibrium expression for this acid dissociation. And we don't include pure liquids as part of those equations. We're going to say that the hydronium ion concentration is approximately zero. There's always some hydronium ion present because remember, we have the dissociation of water into hydronium ions and hydroxide ions. There's always a little bit present, but if you remember, the dissociation constant for water, Kw, is quite small. It's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And if we're talking about products over reactants, the numerator is very small here, and that means that the amount of these two present, of the two products present, is going to also be very small. So we have approximately zero present. There will be more present once we add the hydrocyanic acid to the water. But this is the initial condition. This is before we've added, um, before any reaction has taken place to give you some hydronium ion. And then cyanide is going to be zero. So for the change, we're going to define the change in the concentration for hydrocyanic acid as minus x. So for every mole of hydrocyanic acid that is lost, we gain one mole of hydronium ion and one mole of cyanide ion. So on this side, we'll say plus x and plus x. And for equilibrium concentrations, for hydrocyanic acid, we have 0.15 minus x. And for hydronium ion and cyanide, we have x. So the next thing you want to do is write the equilibrium equation for acid dissociation. So that's Ka is equal to the products, hydronium ion concentration multiplied by cyanide ion concentration divided by the reactant. And you're only including hydrocyanic acid here because water is a pure liquid and not included. So what we're trying to do, again, for this problem is find Ka. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute these equilibrium concentrations in terms of x into this equation. So we're going to have x for hydronium ion, x 
for cyanide ion and 0.15 minus x. So we don't know Ka and we don't know x. So we have two unknowns here. In order to solve this equation, we can only have one unknown. So one thing we can know though, because we do know the pH, if you remember the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. That means we can find X because X is the hydronium ion concentration. So we just take 10 to the negative 5.0, which is the pH that we're given, and we get 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. So now that we know X, because this is also equal to X, we know also the cyanide ion concentration, and we can find the uh, hydrocyanic acid concentration because we know that's equal to 0.15 minus x. So 0.15 minus 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5. And we'll substitute this all into our equation. Um, this will be what we're using for hydrocyanic acid. So let's just say Ka is equal to x, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5, multiplied by x, 10 to the negative 5. So we're just substituting in for these values now that we know our x, and then divided by hydrocyanic acid, which is 0.15. Minus 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5. So when you do the math here, you'll get 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11. So that is our Ka value. So we've solved for Ka knowing only the initial concentration of our acid and the pH of the solution.